everything is relative. You. I'm playing with you, Magnus. Normally, I've got exactly that written down on my notes. Don't <laughs> yeah. you worry. Here we go. All of the usual cliches apply, except you can probably forget about some this particular year. It's different. We do go back in time, but we go back to our Sunday afternoon ritual. A Sunday in hell for the 118th time. And we're into sector 19, the first of three headline moments with young Florian Vermersch of Belgium alongside Niels Eekhoff, the Dutchman, and they're into the trench. Yeah, they are. And this is all slightly, slightly downhill. It's relatively easy. And as we get uh, down to where the uh, first couple of cars you can see there is now, that's where it starts leveling out. There's a big bump in the cobblestones right at that point. Really, really rough patch. And then it starts to go about 1% uphill towards the end of the cobblestone section. And that's where it really starts to sting. Rick van Aermaat just off the back of his group here, coming in at 20 seconds now. And it's the safe. gap is reducing. Playing it safe here. But he knows that there is life after this trench and you've yeah. got to get through it, I guess. Yeah, you, you either fight to go on the front for it or, or you sit slightly, slightly off the back, knowing that you've still got legs to, to close whatever gap is in front of you when you come out onto the, to the tarmac afterwards. Well, the little people may be thinking before today, well, I'll switch on when we get to Hamburg. This is where the race begins. <laughs> You've missed quite a lot of action so far. A lot of the big protagonists will not have an opportunity to win. Those who are still here could lose it now. It's that old cliche of it cannot be won here, but it can certainly be lost. Attention required. You need skill, you need heart, you need legs. But, Tom, you need quite a bit of luck as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we just saw Van Aert make his move up the left there, um, get heading towards the front. So let's see if he puts the hammer down through here. 50 seconds between the front group. I think those two front groups have come together, by the way. And we're looking at 50 seconds to the Van Aert group. It'd be interesting to see if we could get a look at the front as we take a look at the back. And at the back, you can see that it's Tim Merlier, the former Belgian champion, right at the back of the peloton. And look at that, what a long line of riders. Yeah, you, you got you got to ride the centre of this one. Anything else, and um, and and you find that it's extremely slippery on this particular road. And this section here is what I was just talking about. Oh, oh and down and down. The rider from Bahrain, victorious. Like I said, Ouch. as soon as you get off the centre here, it's impossible to keep the bike going straight. Quebec Assels have a man down, Walt Van Aert just ahead. There was a rider alongside him as well. I think will have been one of the bike exchange riders, Maggie. Yeah, it, it looked like it, but um, Walt just got caught with that little um, mishap from whoever he was that, that came down and is now finding himself about 30 odd metres off the back of it. And I don't think it's the end of the world for him. He's still got the legs to, to carry on, but... It just goes to show, like I said, the forest of Arenberg is where you can lose it. It is so slippery. Oh, well, does well to hold that one. That's Simon Clark, I think. Mm. Clark going down on the left-hand side. The bike exchange rider from the back, I think. Maybe looks to be uh, Jul Jensen. I have to double-check on that. It's not quite back together yet. The time gaps we were getting reflected as the case, but the cars are still in between. They're riding well, these two. And, and it's a great illustration of being out the way of the chaos, isn't this, Maggie? Yeah, it definitely is. Um, it, it's much easier to navigate this from, from the front than it is to, to, uh, to try and follow. And you're always worrying about what, what we've seen happen on our screens um, every single time you ride across here. This is, um, this is splitting up. Well, Mathieu van der Poel is putting the pressure on the pedals. It looked as though he might be the one playing catch up to Van Aert, but at the other side of a few hundred metres of cobbles, some of the most legendary and, well, the ones that attract everybody from around the world, things change dramatically. And Van der Poel is at the front. He's taken four riders with him. Then there's a gap to five riders, and then Wat Van Aert is on his own. They're about to come off the front on the image that we look at now. This is group two. It looked like Van Aert was riding at pretty much the same speed as Van der Poel there. He wasn't losing ground, so I imagine he's going to try and fix it once he gets off the cobbles here. It looks like he's back on the wheel here, but...